Now let's look at investment fund that is uh, invested over a period of three years and uh, we are given the after tax returns for year one to year three and uh, we have a capital gains tax rate of 25% and uh, let's say the embedded capital gains would be 10% of the final value and uh, we need to calculate the annualized post liquidation return. Okay, so first we need to calculate the final value at the end of year three. Okay, so if let's say you invested $1 at the beginning of uh, the year, so by the end of year three, you would have uh, 1.16844. Okay, if you compound the returns over the three years. So to get the annualized post liquidation return, uh, we would take the final value and then you'll multiply by one minus the liquidation tax over the final value and then you raise it to the power of one over n minus one and here would be the investment period which is three years so the final value here is 1.16844 okay and then for the liquidation tax uh, we'll take 25 percent of the capital gains and the capital gains here is 10 percent of the final value which is 1.16844 now, uh, since uh, the numerator and the denominator both contains the final value, so it will cancel off and we would have 0 0.025. Okay, then uh, we would multiply 1.16844 uh, by 1 minus 0 0.025. Okay, and that gives us 4.44% per annum. Now, in the case where they do not provide you the percentage okay, of the final value that is uh, the embedded capital gains, uh, let's say, for example, they will tell you the tax basis is equals to 1, for example. So when you calculate the post-liquidation return, this time when you calculate the liquidation tax, uh, you will take the final value minus the tax basis. Then you multiply by the capital gains tax rate. So we take 1.16844 minus 1 and multiply by 25%. That gives us 0 0.04211. And then we substitute this back to the formula. Okay, and when you expand the bracket, okay, you have 1.16844 minus 0 0.04211, and then you raise it to the power 1 over 3 minus 1, that gives you 4.045% per annum.